Hi, I'm Rebecca Huddle, a justice on the Supreme Court of Texas. I'm honored to be the deputy liaison to the Judicial Commission on Mental Health and the Deputy Chair of the Texas Children's Commission. Hi, I'm Barbara Hervey. I'm a judge on the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals and I'm co-chair of the Judicial Mental Health Commission. I'm Justice Deborah Lehrman, Justice on the Supreme Court of Texas, and I also serve as the chair of the Permanent Commission on Children, Youth, and Families. Six months ago when we had our meeting, uh, one of our meetings, the issue was raised how important the issue of mental health is with our children who are in our child protection protective service system. Today is the first time we've ever had joint session of both of these commissions. Um, it's historic because it just has never happened before. We're, we've brought a, experts in from all different kinds of um, substantive areas. We realize with both commissions that there's overlap and there's a lot of things that uh, judges can do. Youth is our most important resource, and so with the crossover, we can help each other. We have state agencies, members of the judiciary, physicians, um, researchers, all kinds of expertise in the house today. I think as a judge, you know, when we're in court, we basically see snapshots of cases, but it's really the hard workers behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we don't know who those people are, so I think it's good for us to be here today to kind of learn the intersection between uh, some of the mental health resources out there as well as, you know, what the community resources are. Discussions about what's not working and what's working is going to allow us to collaborate with each other in order to come up with solutions, not just talk, but actually walk the walk. We began by identifying gaps in the systems and the second part of the meeting is aimed at talking about solutions and we're looking for data-driven, concrete specifics. Long term, I think we really need to kind of prioritize what resources are out there, what additional ones we need, and obviously uh, is there money available to you know, get resources for kids. People were coming up with ideas about what should happen as a state to address children with mental health needs who are also involved in child welfare and juvenile justice. I know that based on those recommendations, we're gonna to come together again and we're gonna come up with solutions, real world solutions that are gonna have an impact. I hope that we can have interplay, more interplay with all of the agencies here. We still have a lot more work to do and we're gonna get it done because now we brought everybody to the table and we're gonna hopefully make some changes that are needed. The sky's the limit when it comes to what more we can do together. Uh, we have an unbelievable group of very, very experienced professionals who have done this for years, who know what the problems are, and are working together to try to come up with solutions that will really help all Texans throughout this state. I feel hope. I feel like after the meeting today, we have a time right now is our opportunity to take this moment and do something and take action. And I really feel like we will. I think it's going to happen.